Better Mornings Atlanta at 9 a.m. starts right now. And we're getting very zen this morning with some simple yoga moves that you can do anywhere, anytime. Sarah DeVello is here with her brand new book, Where in the Om Am I? Looking good. That looks like it would feel good. Like Absolutely. stretching the back of your knees and... She looks like she needs peaceful. to teach me a couple moves. <laughs> I know that smile. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Food too? All right. Plus, where the ohm am I? I'm not over there doing that, but I am going to tell you where this is happening. Sarah DeVillo has a brand new book, and she's teaching us some simple yoga moves that you can do anywhere, anytime. Sarah DeVello worked in PR and marketing for 13 years before realizing she preferred yoga mats and bare feet to cubicles and high heels. Now she's a certified yoga instructor, spending her time helping others find their direction in life. She wrote a book about it, about the experience. It's called Where in the Ohm Am I? Shape Magazine selected it as a best summer read for the summer. And Working Mother Magazine says it's one of the best memoirs of the year. Sarah's here this morning showing and telling us more about the book and also showing us some yoga moves to help us relax. Sarah, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, so I love your story because it's all about you climbing the corporate ladder and then all of a sudden you have this epiphany and then you just decide to write this book. So tell us and enter into yoga. So tell us about that. So I was working in finance. I was totally miserable. I worked for a woman who seemed to think it was in her job description to uh, pick on me about what I ate, who I dated, you know, what kind of shoes I wore, mm -hmm. and I was miserable, but I felt stuck, which I think is something mm -hmm. that a lot of people can relate sure. to. So finally I got to the point where I was like, you know, if, I, if not now, then when? And if not me, then who? So I'm just going to do it. So um, I started doing my yoga teacher training at night and on weekends. Mm. Graduated, got certified, and now I teach yoga full time. And I was inspired to write the book because I want to get the message out there to other people that you don't have to feel stuck. You can do what you love and you should do what you love because not only is that your gift to the world, but you owe it to yourself as well. So was it everything you imagined once you made that switch from corporate America to doing yoga full time? Well, you know what? I think that it there is a certain grass is always greener mentality there yes. and that's not always true. So it wasn't um, always the, the utopia of, of girl power and and, 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 and and total support all the time. Yeah. But um, I did find a way to, to make a niche for myself and and make it work. And so. you have such a sense of humor that really comes across <laughs> in the book. So if you're reading the book, there are definitely lots of points where you're just going to be bawling laughing. <laughs> lots of fun points that you, you uh, give to people as well, as well as great advice for people to take from the book. I love to laugh and I love to make other people laugh and I love to entertain them. And so um, I realized that, you know, I had all these crazy stories. Yeah. If your boss is getting drunk on business trips and, you, and you're helping her while she's puking in the bathroom. Oh, wow. Then did that really happen? It certainly <laughs> it really did. Happened. It certainly did. That is too crazy to make up. So I was like, you know, this is too good not to share. Okay. And I want to let other people know if they've got a bad boss, hey, I've been there. You've been there, you've done that. Exactly. And you're also sharing your experience and sharing some yoga moves. So yes. let's talk about some of these yoga moves that Great. you got to help us relax. Something we can do anywhere, right? Exactly. So okay. you can do this in the car, in a meeting, wherever you are. So okay. the first thing that people do is they clench their jaw and they sort of furrow their brow. Yes. So we're going to work with something called the fire point in yoga. So you can do this literally anywhere. So you're going to take the tip of your tongue and press it right behind your top two front like teeth. This? Yep, just gently and just relax your face. Press the tip of your tongue right behind your top two front teeth. And you're going to feel your whole face relax. Your forehead, your jaw, your shoulders are going to start to relax. Okay, if I could stop smiling, it would work. <laughs> well, then you're going to have to put the book down for five minutes. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so the show second, something else. Exactly. So the second thing that you can do, again, anywhere, car, meeting, mm -hmm. wherever you are, is a breathing technique. In yoga, that's called pranayama, breath work. So you're going to start to breathe in for a count of three and then extend your exhale for a count of four or five or even six. Let's do it together. Okay, great. So breathe I'm going to count you in. Two, three, and then exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so I did an event last week. A woman emailed me the next day. She was like, I don't know what's going on with that breath work, but I've never slept better in my life. Really? And I was like, that is exactly what I like to hear. My students tell me that all the time. I'm so going to try that a couple more times. When you're sitting in traffic okay. or wherever you are. Okay. The third thing is, the first place that stress is going to go mm -hmm. is what I call the triplex of stress holding doom. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's your neck your shoulders, your upper back. Yes. You're feeling tense, those things are going to tense up. 
So we're going to do eagle arms this morning, Garudasana in Sanskrit, the language we're of yoga. We're running out of time, so let's so do this. arms up, shoulders here, okay. shoulders down and elbows up. Now, that's going to give you a nice stretch in your upper back. If you okay. need more, drop one elbow below the other, right below left. Like that. Okay. Exactly. Backs of the palms the together. For the more advanced. Or twine in for the more and advanced. And I'm together. I like exactly. this. Exactly. Okay. And you're going to get a nice release of all that stress How right there. How long do you hold the pose? You're going to hold for 30 seconds or 30 five seconds. deep breaths. Okay. Well, we don't have enough time to do all that, but Sarah, we appreciate you being here this morning. Thanks so much for having me. Now, by the way, Sarah is hosting two events while she's in Atlanta this week, and she has a book signing tonight from 6.30 until 8.30. All this happening at Decatur Yoga and Pilates. It's free and open to the public. Yeah. And then tomorrow, you're also hosting Where the Ohm Are You? It's a workshop from 2 o'clock until 4 in the afternoon. That's also at Decatur Yoga and Pilates, yeah. and the cost is 40 bucks per person. For more information, be sure to check out Better Mornings Atlanta's page of CBSAtlanta.com. Sarah, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Better Mornings Atlanta will be right back.